And now, your weather authority, Ron Young. Certified the most accurate forecast in the Arklatex. Welcome back, everybody. You're looking at Cachetta, Louisiana, courtesy of our quality outdoor sky cam. And uh, some blue sky dotted with clouds. More clouds maybe than blue, but take a look at the flags. Yes, we've got a bit of a north-northeast wind going on across the area, a little gusty at times, but looking pretty good. It's been a good day so far, but we do have thunderstorms in the area. And once again, looking at two right here weather statements. This one is for Claiborne and Bienville Parish and uh, for parts of it. It would be northeastern Bienville, southeastern Claiborne. It expires at 530 but it's packing 40 mile an hour winds and penny sized hail. Another one which was affecting northeastern Claiborne Parish, it expires at 545 and that too, with some very small hail and the possibility of 40 mile an hour wind gusts. The rest of us, we're seeing a few showers far northwestern Arklatex, up near Batiste, Oklahoma, a nice little thunder shower going on there and either side of Toledo Bend, Quite a bit of activity as well. And this is trying, trying to move. And if you look at it, it's not moving much at all. So an effective rainmaker for sure. And we have more activity moving east, northeast, or west, northwest into the area over towards Winfield as well. So looking down towards Baton Rouge, Yes, we have activity stretching all the way southwest of Baton Rouge and northwest of Baton Rouge right now and even down into Lafayette. And we have that activity either side of Leesville and that's trying to move a little bit more to the north, although it's a random movement down to the south. Humidity levels are the 50, 60 percentile range and yes, I can testify that we do have humidity. It was a little hot out there with the pups today. A little bit of sweaty day going on. Wind speeds don't help you at all. Zero in Natchitoches, zero in Idabel. And as we go into the rest of the area, three to about eight miles an hour. <laughs> Not helping. Robert's Toyota Futurecast. As we go to 5 p.m. right now, we see the showers and thunderstorms across southern parts of the area. Bigger thunderstorms over towards Greenville. After sunset, they're gone, but don't be surprised. Just a little pop shower anywhere overnight in the area. Clouds will hang on. Tomorrow we do it all over again, but it does look like the majority of the activity is going to be in the southern parts of the Arklatex. And the rest of us will have a few showers through 7 p.m. As we go into your Monday, it looks like a shower or two. 7 o'clock on the morning and Tuesday. We have some activity once again, but very widely scattered. That may be our least out of the work week. I'll show you that in just a minute. 2, uh, 2 p.m. on Sunday, uh, Tuesday that is. Activity is in western parts of the Arklatex. And as we go into Tuesday 7 p.m., widely scattered overnight. It uh, fizzles out by the time we get to 7 p.m. Wednesday. A few showers and thunderstorms once again. 8 a.m. on Thursday. Same thing is going to be going on. So let's take a look at the seven day forecast. It looks like the rest of the week we have decent chances of rain. For tomorrow, 90 degrees, 30 percent, 40 percent on your Tuesday, 89 degrees. We're in the mid to upper 60s all the way. 90 again on Wednesday with a 30 percent chance. 50 percent chance will be the best out of this entire week. 89 degrees. 91 Friday. Yes, still. But Saturday, Hey, we get a break. Sunday, we don't get a break. 92 and thunderstorms. We'll be right back.